number question number one read the following analogies and states the one which is wrong starch glycogen and cellulose are homopolysaccharides as these consist of only one type of monomers starch and glycogen consist of branched and unbranched chains while cellulose has only unbranched chains hence when iodine is added to starch and glycogen it forms complexes with the branched part which appear blue or red respectively these complexes are not seen in cellulose DNA is made up of many nucleotides that is monomers which consist of phosphate a pentose sugar and four types of nitrogenous bases thus DNA consists of four types of monomers while macromolecule protein consists of 20 different types of amino acids out of which 10 are essential and remaining 10 are non essential fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated depending on the absence or presence of double bonds unsaturated fatty acids can be mono unsaturated fatty acids that is mufe or poly unsaturated fatty acids pufe as it can have only one double bond or multiple double bonds respectively examples of mufe are oleic acid palmitic acid etc while omega 3 fatty acid is pufe so the answer for this question is option c oleic acid mufe palmitic acid pufe Question number 2. During which phase of cell cycle amount of DNA in a cell remains at 4C level if the initial amount is denoted as 2C? Cell cycle consists of interphase and mitotic M phase. Interphase is divided into G1, S and G2 stages. The mitotic phase is the actual division phase and it is divided into karyokinesis and cytokinesis. DNA is seen in all phases in M phase. Both 4C and 2C of DNA is seen. In A space, the synthesis of DNA takes place and hence the amount of DNA doubles. Thus, after A space, in G2 phase, the DNA doubles. It is become 4C. So, the answer is option C. Only G2. Question number 3. If cells are broken off and sedimented by a centrifugation, the new structures formed in one of the fraction is. When cells are broken up under laboratory conditions, the endoplasmic reticulum breaks out to form microsomes. These are smaller bodies that are absent in healthy living cells and these structures are important for many experimental purposes. Being similar to endoplasmic reticulum, these structures are used to perform protein synthesis on a membrane and this helps to understand the actual process that occurs in the cell as these micro microsomes mimic the activity of the endoplasmic reticulum in a test tube. So the answer is option B. Microsomes. Question number 4. Darwin's finches are an example of Darwin's finches are small birds that were first observed by Darwin at Galapagos Island during his voyage in his ship HMS Beagle. Darwin noticed that all the islands and these small finches which were very similar except for their diverse big shapes. This was surprising for him and so Darwin observed these birds and thus came to the conclusion that big shapes were different because of their different feeding habits and the habitat. Thus, the finches got adapted to the new habitat and habits. This is adaptive radiation. This was also an example of divergent evolution as according to Darwin. These finches being similar had a common ancestor but due to habitat changes got adapted separately. Hence, these finches are examples of adaptive and divergent evolution. So, that the answer for this question is option D, both B and C. The first moments of the fetus are observed during Human pregnancy lasts for 9 months and it officially begins after implantation that is 8th day after fertilization. The sign of developing fetus is first recorded at the end of the first month as heart sounds and clear and audible. The fetus develops limbs and digits by the end of 60 days. Major systems also develops in the third month of pregnancy. The first movements of fetus, fetus and appearance of hair on head is seen during 5th month. So the answer is option C. During 5th month. Question number 6. Peritoneum of Coelom is an example of Epithelial tissue can be classified as a simple or compound epithelium depending upon the number of layers resting on the basement membrane. The simple epithelium consists of only one layer resting on the basement membrane. This is further divided into various types depending on the shape of cells. These are squamous epithelium where the cells are flat, cuboidal when the cells are square in shape, columnar when the cells are tall and pillar like and ciliated when the cells shows the presence of cilia. The main function of simple epithelium is the transport of substances. 
peritoneum shows flat cells and hence is an example of simple squamous epithelium. So the answer is option D, simple squamous epithelium. Question number 7. Statements regarding sealant rates are wrong. Poilum, sealant rates are also known as nidarians as they possess nidocytes. These are stinging cells present on tentacles and throughout the body. This phylum shows tissue level organization and it is diploplastic as mesoderm is absent. Some organisms show metagenesis. These show two forms that is polyp and medusa. Polyp is cylindrical in shape while medusa are umbrella shaped. Polyp is sessile while medusa are free living. Polyp produces medusa asexually while medusa forms polyp sexually. This is alternation of generation. So the answer is option C. From the given five statements. Second, third and fifth statements are wrongly given. Question number 8. Column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option. AIDS is acquired human deficiency syndrome and it is caused by human immunodeficiency virus. Syphilis is caused by bacteria, trypanoma pallidium. Jaundice is an infection of the liver and it is caused by the hepatitis virus. Gonorrhea also known as CLAP. It is caused by Neisseria gonorrhea. So the correctly matching option is option C. Question number 9. Malic acid inhibit the activity of enzyme succinic dehydrogenase during this incubation. Any substance that can diminish the velocity of an enzyme is known as an inhibitor. The two main types of inhibition are competitive and non-competitive. In competitive inhibition, the enzymes and the inhibitor compete to bind to the same active site. Hence, if the substrate concentration is increased, the chances of substrate binding to the enzyme will increase. Thus, if increase K, that is Michaelis constant, also increases in non-competitive inhibition, the substrate and the inhibitor bind at different sites. Hence, do not compete with each other. This cannot be reversed by increasing the substrate concentration and hence Km remains constant. This velocity of reaction also decreases. An example of competitive inhibitor is malic acid. This competes with a succinate to bind at the active site of enzyme succinate dehydrogenase. So the answer is option D. Vmax remains the same. Km increases. Question number 10. The following stage is marked by terminalization of chiasmata. The first phase of meiosis 1 is prophase 1. It is further divided into 5 substages. Leptotin. During leptotin, condensation of chromatin material takes place in this stage. Second one is zygotin. The homologous chromosome formation is seen in this stage. This is known as synapsis and this is also facilitated by the formation of synaptonemal complex. Third stage is pactin. At this point, a tetrad of chromosome is formed and this is known as bivalent. Crossing over is also seen in this stage. Fourth stage is diplotin. The synaptonemal complex degrades and chiasmata formation is seen. And the fifth stage is diakinesis. This, this is the final stage of prophase. Here the chromosomes condense further, four proper tetras are visible during this stage, terminalization is seen. So the answer is option D, diakinesis. Question number 11. Glycolipids in the plasma membrane are located at? Glycolipids in the plasma membrane are located at the outer leaflet of the plasma membrane. So the correct option for this question is option B. Question number 12 of natural selection that preserves existing allelic frequencies is called. There are three types of natural selection, stabilizing or balancing, directional and disruptive. In the stabilizing type of two extremes of a population are not able to survive and only the mean character value survives. In directional change, more individuals acquire value other than the mean character value. In disruption, in disruption type, more individuals acquire peripheral character value at both ends of the distribution curve. So the answer is option B. Stabilizing selection. Question number 13. Which is wrong about oogenesis? During oogenesis, primary oocyte undergoes first meiotic division. This results in the formation of two daughter cells. These are secondary oocyte and a first polar body. These are unequal in size. Polar bodies are much smaller in diameter than the oocyte because the cytoplasm is retained in bulk in the secondary oocyte. This occurs because the secondary oocyte will get converted into ovum and if gets fertilized will form zygote. Hence the retained cytoplasm will act as stored food for the developing zygote. This is the main difference between the oogenesis and meiosis division in other cells. So the answer is option D. 
equal meiotic division question number 14 what's are commonly spread by genital warts are sexually transmitted diseases it affects the genital and anal area as well as mucous membranes of the rectum vagina and cervix these are caused by human papilloma viruses these are contagious warty growths and spread by a sexual contact with an infected person so the answer is option b papilloma virus question number 15 which one of the following is matching set of phylum and its three examples spongilla and euplectella belongs to the phylum porifera and penatula belongs to the class anthozoa phylum coelenterata paisalia and oriella belongs to the class hydrozoa and scopozoa phylum coelenterata and limulus belong to the phylum arthropoda planaria and cysostoma belong to the phylum platyhelminthes and entropium is a round one belonging to the phylum askelminthes loligo tetrado and octopus belong to the phylum mollusca these are known as mollusk mollusca shell like covering present these are bilaterally symmetrical have three germ layers band have a body cavity too the body is not segmented but shows presence of distinct head muscular foot and visceral hump a soft mantle is seen over the visceral hump which plays a role in respiration and excretion so the answer is option d mollusca loligo terido octopus question number 17 the following graph represent enzyme activity with changing the major factor on which enzyme activity depends on the temperature and ph every enzyme has certain optimum temperature range at which it is active at temperature lowest or highest the activity will not be seen at lower temperature the enzyme remains totally inactive and at higher temperature denaturation of proteins is seen and thus the activity is hampered similar is this the case with ph value every enzyme is active at certain ph at lower or higher ph this active is not seen hence when the graph of enzyme activity is floated against temperature or ph a bell shaped curve is obtained so the correctly matching option is option c either a or b question number 18 axonym having 9 plus 2 doublet microtubule arrangement is found in cilia and flagella are extensions that arise from the cell membrane flagella are longer than cilia both structures are responsible for cell motility the microscopic features of these two structures are also very similar the central core is known as axonym these show nine pairs of microtubules that are arranged peripheral and one pair of microtubule is also seen in the center this is 9 plus 2 arrangement the central tubules are connected to some peripheral tubules by means of sheath so the answer is option a cilia and flagella question number 19 a replica plate experiment by lederberg showing antibiotic resistant proves replica plate experiment was conducted by joshua lederberg and esther lederberg in the year of 1952 this demonstrated the genetic genetic basis of drug resistant mutation in e coli bacteria this experiment proved antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria were able to survive antibiotics because this bacteria has the resistance before their exposure to it this is an example of natural selection so the answer is option b natural selection question number 20 which event shows that only one sperm can fertilize an ovum block to polyspermy is an important step which takes place in humans there is a human in sea urchins during fertilization this is done by two events first block to the polyspermy takes place because of opening up sodium channels that causes the oocyte membrane to get depolarized there is a slow block to polyspermy too this takes place due to the cortical and zona reactions Hence, these two types of block to polyspermy ensures that only one sperm can fertilize the ovum so the answer is option c depolarization of oocyte plasma membrane what will be the distribution of phenotypic features in the first filial generation after a cross between homozygous recessive female and a heterozygous for a single locus test cross is a process to examine and identify whether the organism is heterozygous or not in it the organism are crossed with the recessive homozygous as it will ensure the expression of the dominant character in heterozygous form for first generation that is f1 generation enabling us to know the zygosity the ratio obtained in f1 generation after crossing the heterozygous individuals with recessive homozygous individuals 1 is to 
phenotypic ratio of your typical mono hybrid ratio is 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio for the same is 1 is to 2 is to 1 so the answer is option c 1 is to 1 question number 22 what is herbarium preserved plant specimens and the information regarding the same is collected and stored in a herbarium in the stored specimen may be whole plant itself or parts of it generally the plant parts are mounted on a sheet of a paper in the dried form is generally called as exicate fungal preservation that is the collection is generally termed as fungarium animal specimens are generally stored in museums for scientific study and research the answer is option a storehouse of collected plant specimens question number 23 what is so special about the tropics that might account for the greater biological diversity? The region near the middle of the earth between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn is considered as the tropic region. This region receives the most amount of solar energy which leads to better productivity and higher species diversity. Also the seasonal variations in such regions are low and the environment mainly remains the same supporting high species richness and promoting niche specialization. Species or relationships show the rectangular hyperbolic function. Temperate regions include the subtropics and polar circles. These regions face glaciation during the ice age which was not absorbed in the tropic regions. So the answer is option C. Four. Escherichia coli is used in biological research because E. coli is a bacterium, e. coli is a bacterium that is a rod shaped and gram negative. It belongs to genus uh, Escherichia and it is the most widely studied prokaryotic model organism. This bacterium is mostly used in biological research for its minimal living requirement. This allows it to be cultured easily and manipulated as per the requirements making it expensive for lab purposes. The plasmid is used as a cloning vector in genetic engineering process. The answer is option B can be easily cultured. Question number 25. Select the wrong statement regarding energy flow in an ecosystem. Here there are three statements are given. From that, that uh, first statement is energy flow is in uh, one direction only. Yes, that uh, statement is uh, correctly given. Statement 2. About 1 to 5 percentage of energy reaching the ground is converted by the green plants into chemical energy. Uh, statement B also correctly given. Statement C. Energy requirements for uh, maintenance of body gradually decreases in successive tropic levels. So that is an uh, incorrect statement. Statement D. Only 10% of gross productivity of the producers is entrapped by herbivores for their bodybuilding activities. Yes. Statement D also correctly given. So out of four statements, statement C alone wrongly given about the energy flow in an ecosystem. Question number 26. Death while sleeping in closed room with burning coal furnace is due to Coal is a fossil fuel which on burning produce heat and gives out carbon monoxide as a waste or pollutant. Hemoglobin shows more affinity to carbon monoxide than oxygen. When this carbon monoxide filled hair is inhaled, it replaces oxygen in our blood and forms carboxyhemoglobin. Carboxyhemoglobin is very toxic and can lead to respiratory diseases and even cause neurological complications. Carbon monoxide poisoning can lead to death of the individual. So the answer is option B. Carbon monoxide. Question number 27. The biological scissors are. Here there are three statements are given from that. Select the option with correct statement. Enzymes are majorly made of proteins which act as catalyst in increasing the reaction rate and producing products faster. There are huge varieties of enzymes specific for their particular substrate and they are categorized as per their activity. The enzyme group that break nucleic acid or long chain polynucleotide is called as nucleases. Depending on where they make the break in the chain, there are two categories, exonucleases which break nucleotides at the terminal part of the chain and endonucleases which make the break with the chain. These enzymes make the break or cut at the particular site or sequence that is palindromic. They are also called as restriction endonucleases. These biocatalysts are extensively used in the genetic engineering process for manipulation of genes. Because of their cutting ability like a scissor, they are commonly called as molecular scissors. So the answer for this question is option B. 
second second and third statements are correct about uh, molecular scissors or biological scissors question number 28 complete the given dna compaction and packaging by selecting the correct option DNA is the nucleic acid that forms the genetic material in all organisms. The structure of deoxyribonucleic acid was elucidated by Watson and Crick. The DNA is a double helical structure having two antiparallel strands of polynucleotide chains joined to each other by hydrogen bonding forming between the N bases. The typical DNA length is approximately 2.2 meter and the nucleic and the approximately 10 to the 4 of minus 6 meter to accommodate such large molecule in such a tiny space DNA undergoes a series of folding and packaging process. DNA is wrapped with histone proteins to form beads like a structure called as nucleosomes. This structure is further condensed to fit in a coiled helical structure called as solenoid. Further, superfolding of solenoid result in the chromatin fiber formation and later into chromatid visible during the prophase of cell division. At the metaphase of cell division, chromosome structure forms with chromatids joined at the center by a centromere. So the correctly matching option is option C. Question number 29. Carrying capacity of population is determined by Group of organisms belonging to same species in a particular region or habitat is called as population. Carrying capacity is the maximum population that can be sustained is a particular area. In other words, the number of organisms can survive normally in a particular area. The main limiting factor for carrying capacity is the resources available in the area or the resources. If the environmental conditions are not met, then the population will keep decreasing until the resources rebound. Natality rate is the number of newborns per thousand in a particular area for a given time that is called as birth rate. Mortality is the death rate where it is measured as number of deaths per thousand in a particular area for a given time. Predation is the population interaction between the predators and the prey. So the answer for this question is option D. Limiting resources. Question number 30. The possibility of being hemophilic is extremely rare because the mother of such a female has to be dashed and the father should be dashed. Hemophilia is X-linked recessive blood disorder. In it, the individual has a delayed clotting time for blood which can be fatal. X-linked disorder or a Hinnerit disorder due to the mutation in the X chromosome which causes the phenotype to be always expressed in male and in female only in homozygous condition. For a daughter to be hemophilic, her father must be a hemophilic as she receives only X chromosome from him and mother must be a carrier if not hemophilic to pass the X chromosome to daughter. So the answer is option B. One is filling with carrier and the two is filling with hemophilic. Question number 31. The sexual mode of reproduction in protozoa is called. Reproduction is the process of uh, producing fertile offspring which look similar to parent. Sexual mode of reproduction is the reproductive process where two gametic cells fertilize or fuse to produce zygote. Protozoa are a group of unicellular organisms coming under the kingdom protista. These are either free living or parasitic in nature. Protozoans like Plasmodium show sexual reproduction via anisogamy where gametes participating are not similar in shape and size. Cysogamy is a type of asexual phase of reproduction. Protoplast of two cells fusing to form a new cell is called as plasmogamy. A special type of binary fiction is called as plasmotomy, where the multinucleate protozoan cell divides into two or more multinucleate cells. So the answer is option A. Anisogamy. Question number 32. Match the column 1 and 2. Choose the correct combinations from the options given below. The variety of flora and fauna in a particular habitat or the globe is called as biodiversity. Basically, it is a way to measure the differences and variations among the organisms at genetic species and ecological level. Biodiversity is a higher at a tropic region compared to temperate and polar regions. Our current study makes an estimate that there are more than 20,000 species of ants and orchids, 28,000 species of fishes, nearly 3 lakhs species of beetles are found in the biosphere. So the correctly matching option is option D. A is matching with 4, B is 1, C is matching with 1, D is matching with 2. Question number 33. The protein products of the Bt toxin genes that is Cry-AC and Cry-3-AB are responsible for controlling. 
Baseless rungensis is a bacteria having the capacity to produce an insecticidal protein called as Bt toxin. This toxin is produced in an inactive form by the cry gene found in the bacterial genome. There are a number of them, cry 1 AC and cry 2 AB control the cotton ballworm and cry 1 AB controls corn borer. These proteins are produced in an inactive form so that the bacteria is not affected by it. When this protein comes in contact with the digestive juice of the gut of the insect, it becomes active. The activated protein binds to the surface of the epithelial cells of the midgut and create pores. This causes swelling and lysis of the cells leading to death of the insect. So the answer is option A. Ballworm. Question number 34. Of a micro ecosystem. A community of an organism interacting with abiotic component in a particular region or area will be called as ecosystem. The living and non-living components are linked together by nutrient cycle and energy flow through each tropic level. Regions or locations defined by a critical environmental factor within a small spaces contain a micro ecosystem. Pond is a classic example of micro ecosystem with limited water volume generally for short duration. These are generally colonized by organisms which are do not live in water continuously and by the organism possessing drought resistant spores in their life cycle. So the answer is option B. Pond. Question number 35. During ACE experiments with pea plant, which of the following characteristics was not used by Mendel? Johann Mendel, considered the father of genetics, gave the observation and the theories of inheritance of characteristics. He made his conclusions based on experiments conducted on Pisum sativum, pea plant. In the plant, he had considered seven contrasting characters, seed shape, seed color, pod shape, pod color, stem height, flower color, flower position. He did not consider pod length for his studies. So the answer is option C, pod length. Question number 37. Which of the following mRNA will get translated completely? mRNA is a transcribed polynucleotide which is later translated by ribosomes using tRNA to join amino acids and make proteins. mRNA contains the genetic code which is a set of instructions that helps cells to obtain the information in making proteins from the DNA. The work of Corona and Nirenberg helped decipher the genetic code which is followed by all organisms in protein synthesis. The codes are always in triplet that is called as codon from that sequence of three N bases and they are universal. AUG triplet is the initiator codon whose presence is must at the start of the sequences to initiate the translation process. Without AUG translation for that sequence will not occur. Also AUG codes for amino acid methionine. So the answer for this question is option C. Question number 38. Which one of the following is matching for certain organisms and the kind of association between them? In a ligand, algae and fungi show mutualism. Fungi provide fixation, water, minerals and shelter to algae. The algae manufacture food material and it provides to fungi. Suckerfish and shark show commensalism as there is no negative interaction between the two. The same type of relationship is seen between orchid growing on trees. Cascuta is a parasite and thus exhibit parasitism while growing on other plants. So the answer is option A. Algae and fungi in ligands are mutualism. Question number 39. Mendel proposed that the factor controlling any character is discrete and independent. This proposition was based on which of the following observations. When Mendel crossed parents with two contrasting characters and absorbed in the F1 generation that only one character was expressed that is the dominant one. On selfing the F1 generation the characters which did not appear in F1 generation appeared in F2 generation. This shows that there is no blending in the contrasting characters but they are discrete and independent. On the basis of the observation Mendel proposed that the factor controlling any character is discrete and independent. So the answer for this question is option B. Offsprings of cross made between the plant having two contrasting characters shows only one character without any blending. Question number 40. Which of the following is mismatch? Here there are four statements are given out of four statements. Statement A. Species. Area graph that is parabola. That is incorrect one. B, C and D are correctly given. 
So the mismatched one is option A. Question number 41. According to the latest estimates, how many documented varieties of basmati rice are grown in India? Rice is an important food grain forming a stable diet in the Asiatic continent. Rice is a rich source of carbohydrates. One of the most known variety group of rice is basmati. It is known as for its unique aroma and flavors. India is known to export 65% of overseas basmati rice market. Around 27 varieties of basmati, basmati rice are grown in India and ancient text, poetry and folklore have reference to the basmati rice. So the answer is option B. 27. Question number 42. Select the disease which is caused by recessive autosomal genes when present in homozygous conditions. When a yes, defect is inherited through the autosomal chromosomes, such disorders are called as autosomal disorders and they are called as recessive autosomal disorders as these are expressed only in homozygous condition. For it to occur in an individual, both the parents must have the gene either in heterozygous or homozygous form. Here there are a few diseases are given. First one is cystic fibrosis, second one is albinism, third one is alcoptonuria. All these three diseases are caused by recessive autosomal genes when present in homozygous condition. So the correct answer for this question is option D. Question number 43. What is true for plasmid? Plasmids are small intranuclear cellular DNAs which carry extra chromosomal genes in bacteria. The answer is option A. Plasmids are widely used in gene transfer. Question number 44. Are completely removed from the ecosystem. The organic content of the dead and decaying organisms are broken down to the inorganic substances by the process called as decomposition. It is brought about by decomposers. Decomposition is mainly an oxygen dependent process and its rate is dependent on chemical composition and climatic factors. Decomposers play a vital role in energy flow through the ecosystem and also in making available the essential nutrients to the producers. If decomposers are removed from the ecosystem, then the minerals required by producers will not be available and disrupt the food chain. So the answer is option D. The movement of minerals in an ecosystem will be blocked. Question number 45. While analyzing the DNA of an organism, it was found that adenine proportion was 30% what would be the proportion of cytosine in its DNA? DNA is the nucleic acid that forms the genetic material in all organisms. The structure of deoxyribonucleic acid was elucidated by Watson and Greek. The DNA is a double helical structure having two anti-parallel strands of polynucleotide chain joined to each other by hydrogen bonding formed between the N bases in a double standard DNA. The ratios between adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine are constant and equal one. This observation was given by Erwin Chogup. A plus G equal to T plus C and A is equal to T, G is equal to C. Therefore, therefore the percentage of adenine and thymine are same and that guanine and cytosine is same. Guanine is, guanine is equal to is 20%. Adenine is equal to thymine is 30%. So the answer for this question is option A, 20%. Question number 46. In mice, black coat color, that is uh, allele capital B, is dominant to brown coat color, allele small b. The offsprings of a cross between a black mouse, capital B, capital B, and a brown mouse, small b, small b, were allowed to interbreed. What percentage of the progeny would be black coats? Monohybrid cross is defined as small a genetic mix between two individuals who have homozygous genotypes or genotypes that have completely dominant or completely recessive alleles which result in opposite phenotypes for a certain genetic trait. The phenotypic ratio and the genotypic ratio of F2 generation for a monohybrid class comes to 3 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 is to 1. Mendel derives the law of independent assortment which states that when an organism is heterozygous for a trait, that is the meaning it has two different alleles for that gene. The allele that is expressed is the dominant one. So the answer for this question is option C. 75 percent. Question number 47. In a mature seven celled or eight nucleate embryo sac, the ploidy level of the secondary nucleus is the same as that of the. The embryo sac is the metropite of the angiosperm, which is a seven celled and eight nucleus structure. 
innate are the salicylic cells which act as a nutritional center female gamete is surrounded by two synergid cells which help in the fertilization process and present at the micropylar end of the sac in the center of the sac polar nuclei is found which is a cell with two nuclei the ploidy level of synergids antipodal cells and female gamete is haploid but the polar nuclei is diploid it is similar to the new cellus that is diploid tissue cells which has not participated in the megasporogenesis process so the answer is option c new cellus question number 48 a typical monocotyledonous root is characterized by monocotyledonous plant or subgroup of angiosperm characterized by having one embryonic leaf or one cotyledon in the seed anatomically the root system is monocots as certain distinguishing features even though it is similar to that of dicot plant root system the root lacks cambium in it and has no secondary growth so the answer is option d all of these usually more than 6 xylem bundles large and well developed pith no secondary growth question number 49 maize a column 1 with column 2 option from column 1 phycomycetes topic organisms are showing wide diversity based on various features like spore formation uh, fruiting bodies fungi categorized into phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and dendromycetes phycomycetes are uh, mainly aquatic habitats they are uh, algae like fungal species grow on decaying wood their mycelium is aseptate and cenocytic example mucor rhizopus albigo ascomycetes majorly multicellular and also called as sac fungi as the reproductive spores are uh, produced in sac like structure called as ascus basidiomycetes filamentous fungi having hypae and specialized club shaped cells called as basidia involved in sexual reproduction agaricus praxinia are examples mycetes reproduce only via asexual mode through spores called as conidia the mycelium of this group is septate and branched trichoderma colitotrichum are examples so the correctly matching option is option 1 that is option a the correctly matching option is option a question number 50 the ovary is said to be hypogynous in the flowers of the flowers of angiosperm plant can be categorized depending on the arrangement of holes around the gynoecium epigynous flowers have ovary is the inferior portion as the thalamus surrounds the ovary and may even fuse with it the other worlds dollars over the thalamus this arrangement is shown goa cucumber and ray florets of sunflowers if the ovary portion is above the thalamus that is superior to the other worlds this arrangement is called as hypogynous example mustard brinjal develop such flowers when the gynoecium and other worlds are arranged almost the same level the flower is called as perigynous and the ovary portion is considered of inferior or of superior peach plant as such type of flower arrangement so the answer is option a brinjal sporophyte is formed on moss forms the higher members of the bryophyta having an erect plant body in it gametophyte stage is the dominant stage of life cycle having two stages protonemal and leafy stage protonemal stage is also called as zoonial stage bearing buds from which the leafy stage is produced it is attached to the soil by rhizoids and bears the sex organs is zygote formed by the sexual reproduction develops into sporophyte which forms on leafy stage bearing fruit seta and capsule sporophyte of mosses is more elaborate than that of liverworts so the answer is option d leafy stage question number 52 which of the following correctly describes uh, probiotics probiotics are a living or but live microbial food supplements probiotics are uh, all living organisms claimed to provide health benefits on consumption these are generally helped by improving the gut flora and digestive system these have been known to maintain the natural balance of microbes in the gut if at all disturbed by any illness or treatment probiotics are generally sold as food than medicines thus they do not undergo the stringent process of regulations and development of medicines so the answer is option c live microbial food supplements question number 53 orchisporium refers to orchisporium refers to a cell or group of cell from which spore mother cell will develop orchisporium produces orchisporial cell which then develops into sporogenous tissue cells from it develops into gametic cell participating in fertilization process tapetal layer are found around the middle layer of surrounding the sporogenous tissue tapetum provides nourishment to sporogenous tissue so the answer is option b sporogenous layer 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव रीड दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स फ्रॉम दैट विच लाइट डिपेंडेंट पिनोमिना हैज बीन डिस्क्राइब बाय द एबो स्टेटमेंट्स फोटो रेस्परेशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लाइट प्लांट कंज्यूम ऑक्सीजन एंड रिलीजेस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड that is instead of fixing carbon dioxide during photosynthesis resulting in a decrease in photosynthetic output since no atp is produced and carbon is lost inevitably so the answer is option c photorespiration question number 56 which of the following is not a consequence of using ethopan the most widely used compound as a source of ethylene is ethopan Ethiopian is an aqueous solution is readily absorbed by transported within the plant and releases ethylene slowly Ethiopian as an fruit ripening in in tomato and apples and accelerates abscission in flowers and fruits it promotes female flowers in cucumbers thereby increasing the yield so the answer is option D promotion of male flowers in cucumber not a consequence of using Ethiopian question number 57 choose the incorrect statement about osmosis from the following osmosis is the term used to refer specifically to the diffusion of water across the differentially or selectively permeable membrane osmosis occurs spontaneously in response to driving force the net direction and rate of osmosis depends on both the pressure gradient and concentration gradient water will move from the region of higher chemical potent or the concentration to its region lower chemical potent until equilibrium is reached at equilibrium the two chambers should have nearly the same water potential so the incorrect statement is option a the rate of osmosis is dependent only on the pressure gradient that is the incorrect statement question number 59 which of the following tissue system constitute bulk of the plant body the outermost covering of the whole plant body forms the epidermal tissue system that includes the epidermal cells and appendages with stomata This system basically provides protection to the main plant body. Basal tissue system is made up of complex tissues having more than one type of cells working together as one unit. The main function of the unit is transport. All the tissue excluding epidermal and vascular come in the category of ground tissue system that forms the bulk of the plant body. So the answer is option B, ground tissue system that constitute bulk of the plant body. Question number 60. Eukaryotic, a chloropilus, and heterotrophic organisms are grouped under which of the following kingdoms? Fungi form a unique group of heterotrophic organisms showing wide diversity. These organisms have a cell wall which is made up of chitin, unlike cellulose in plants. The commonly consumed mushroom and toadstool are included in this kingdom. These organisms are a chloropilus as they are all non-photosynthetic. So the answer for this question is option C, fungi. So represent the types of aciation in corolla identify the correct combination of labeling the given diagrammatic representation the given diagram a represent valvate aciation b shows twisted aciation c represent imbricate aciation d represent vexillary aciation so the correctly matching option is d question number 62 what is the quantum yield of photosynthesis by defining the quantum photosynthesis major ratio between oxygen released in photosynthesis or carbon assimilated to photons absorbed in the process it is denoted by psi typically for every mole of quanta absorbed 0.06 moles of carbon dioxide is fixed under normal conditions quantum yield is found to be around 8% in the photosynthesis process so the answer is option c 8% question number 63 identify a b c and d in the given sentences in the given sentence lens increases in the length of the stem thus increasing the yield as much as 20 tons per acre second statement kinetin does not occur naturally in plants third statement search for natural substances like activities lead to the isolation of zeatin from corn kernels and coconut milk so the correctly matching option is option d a is filling with gibberellin b is 20 c is filling with kinetin d is filling with zeatin question number 64 consider the following statements regarding gymnosperms and choose the correct option 
Gymnosperms are plants with naked seeds and commonly called as panerogames without ovary. These plants show heteromorphic alternation of generation where the sporopite is diploid, dominant, independent while the gametopite is haploid, recessive and dependent. Gymnosperms are heterosporous as they produce microspore in microsporangia and megaspore in megasporangia. The multicellular female gametopite develops and stay within the megasporangium. Cygus, pinus, ginkgo are classic examples of gymnosperms. So the answer is option D. Second and third statements are true but first statement is false. Question number 65. C2H5OH is commercially produced through a particular species of C2H5OH is ethanol. It is a type of alcohol that is produced the fermentation process. Ethanol is widely consumed as a mix in varying degree of concentration. Fermentation is an anaerobic respiratory process where many strains of Saccharomyces are used. So the answer is option A. C2H5OH is commercially produced through Saccharomyces. Question number 66. In a maize comb, the silky has represent. Maize is a monocot plant from the angiosperm division. Maize uses wind as an agent for a pollination process. It does not need an elaborative flower with colorful petals and nectar. Also, maize plant produces unisexual flowers, that is, male and female flowers are separate. Maize shows inflorescence where the flowers form clusters. The female flowers give out long, feathery, silky, hair like structures which form the style and stigma of the flower. This structure helps in capturing pollen for fertilization. These are also via. So the answer is option B, long style with feathery stigma. Question number 67. How many of the given matches are correct? Roots in some plants change their shape and structure and become modified to perform functions other than absorption and conduction of water and minerals. So from the matches, second and fourth are correctly matching. So the correct option is option C. The remaining things are <coughs> Question number 68 During meiosis, a microspore mother cell has 12 bivalents. The number of chromosomes in its pollen grains will be Meiosis is a reductional type of division where the chromosomal numbers are halved in daughter cells formed. During the meiotic division process, there is the formation of bivalents which are paired homologous chromosomes. If cell has 12 bivalents, then the mother cell will have 24 chromosomes. Pollen grains are formed from each of the daughter cells formed after a complete meiotic process of a microspore mother cell. Thus, the chromosomes in pollen grain will be half of the mother cell, which has 12. So, the answer is option A 12. Question number 69 Cenocytic mycelium is the long branching structure of fungi involved in vegetative growth is called as hypae. The aggregate of these filamentous structure are called as mycelium. Mycelium which is non-septate with many nuclei in the cytoplasm will be called as cenocytic mycelium. These are generally found in parasitic fungal group example algae. So the answer is option C. Multinucleate aseptate. Capital C. Capital C is pollinated by pollens of plant with capital A, capital A, capital D, capital D. The fruit thus obtained will have a fruit is a characteristic feature found in flowering plants which develops from ovary after fertilization. If fruit develops without fertilization then it is called as parthenocarpic fruit. The fruit basically formed by maturation of ovary after fertilization. Ovary cells are not involved in fertilization. The genotype of fruit will remain in the same as that of female reproductive organs. The female plant genotype given is capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C. Thus the fruit thus obtained will have the same genotype capital B capital B, capital C, capital C. So the answer for this question is option C. Capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C, that is the genotype. Question number 71. If due to some injury, the tendine of the mitral wall of the human heart is partially non-functional, what will be the immediate effect? The chordae tendine the heart, they are commonly referred to as the heart strings since they resemble small piece of string. Functionally, the chordae tendine play a vital role in holding the atrioventricular valves in place while the heart is pumping blood. The bicuspid valve is the valve in the heart between the left atrium and left ventricle. The valve opens to allow blood flow from atrium into the ventricle. Thus, if the bicuspid valve is 
partially non-functional then the blood will flow back into the atrium and thus reducing flow of blood into the aorta so the answer is option c the flow of blood into the aorta will be reduced question number 72 the contraction of internal intercostal muscle takes place during the muscles of respiration are attached to the rib cage there are principal and axillary muscles who work to expand and contract the rib cage in order to inhale and exhale generally the process of inspiration is active and expiration is passive in nature the contraction of internal intercostal muscle pushes the rib cage downwards and inwards this decreases the intrapulmonary volume increasing the intrapulmonary pressure this leads to the removal of air from the lungs that is called as expiration normal that is effortless expiration is brought about by relaxing of external intercostal muscles and diaphragm so the answer is option d forceful exhalation question number 73 a gorilla like appearance with huge hands and legs is due to excess secretion of a gorilla like appearance with huge hands and legs is the symptom of a disease called as acromegaly it occurs due to hyper secretion of growth hormone or somatotropin in adults since the growth is complete in adults the hyper secretion of growth hormone causes increased thickness of bones especially in their hand and feet a person from acromegaly has protruding jaw it is generally called as prognathism a slanting forehead and thickened supraorbital ridges this gives the appearance of an ape like that is gorilla like so the answer is option b growth hormone Question number 74. Refer to the characteristics given below and identify how many are true for the skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are also called as striated or voluntary muscles. Striated muscles are attached to bones by tendons. They are long, thin, multinucleated, fibers having alternate light and dark bands. They contain myofibril, which contain contractile proteins, thin actin, and thick myosin. Smooth muscle cells are uninucleate, spindle shaped and don't have any striations cardiac muscle cells are uninucleate show faint striations and are branched cells so the answer is option a there are two are true about skeletal muscles question number 75 which of the following options gives the correct map the diseases it uh, causative organism and mode of infections here there are four diseases are given First one is Entamoeba histolytica. It is a protozoan parasite that causes amoebiasis. Symptoms include constipation, abdominal pain, and cramps, stools with excess mucus and blood clots. Drinking water and food contaminated by the fecal matter is the main source of amoebiasis infection. And pneumonia is transmitted by droplet infection and not by vectors. Malaria spread by female anopheles mosquito. Ascariasis is caused by a round worm ascar is lumbricoids and not filarial worm so the answer for this question is option c the correctly matching one is c the functioning of the kidney is correct on an average 1100 to 1200 ml of blood is filtered by kidneys per minute which constitute roughly one by fifth of the blood pumped out by reach ventricle of the heart in a minute Juxta glomerular apparatus is a special sensitive region formed by modifications in the distal convoluted tubule and the efferent atriole at the location of their contact. A fall in glomerular filtration rate can activate the juxta glomerular cells to release renin, which can stimulate the glomerular blood flow and thereby GFR back to normal. The ascending limb is impermeable to water but allows transport of electrolytes actively. Or passively therefore as the concentrated filtrate pass upward it gets diluted due to the passage of electrolytes to the medullary fluid so the answer is option B from the given four statements third and fourth statement correct about the functioning of kidney question number 78 all the following structures are found in electrical snaps except Synaptic vesicles are part of chemical synapse in a neuron. Synaptic vesicles or neurotransmitter vesicles store various neurotransmitters that are released at the synapse. The release is regulated by voltage dependent calcium channel. Vesicles are essential for propagating no impulses between neurons and are constantly recreated by the cell. So the answer is option B. Synaptic vesicles. 
Question number 79. All enzymes of TCA cycle are located in the mitochondrial matrix except one which is located in inner mitochondrial membrane in eukaryotes and in cytosol in prokaryotes. This enzyme is TCA cycle means a tricarboxyl are present in the mitochondrial matrix except succinate dehydrogenase. Succinate dehydrogenase enzyme is attached to the inner mitochondrial membrane. So the answer is option C. Succinate dehydrogenase. Question number 80. The tallest positive wave in ECG represent. The record of the electrical activities of the cardiogram. The waves of ECG include PQ or ST waves. P wave which represent the depolarization of the atria, the QRS complex which represent the depolarization of the ventricles and the T wave represent the ventricular repolarization. The waves above the isopotential line are called positive waves and the ones below it is called as negative waves. P, R, T are positive waves while Q, S negative waves. R is the tallest wave which is the part of QRS complex. So the answer is option B. Ventricular depolarization. Of these properties, does the rate of diffusion of a gas across alveoli? Alveoli are the structural and functional units of lungs. They are tiny sacs which help in gaseous exchange while breathing by the process of diffusion. Alveoli cells are made up of simple epithelial tissue. Alveoli becomes less efficient because of diseases, normal aging, smoking, and air pollution. If the gas is more soluble or it has higher partial pressure gradient. The transport of gases will be at faster rate. However, if the thickness of the respiratory membrane increases, the diffusion of gases across it will decrease. So the answer is option C. Thickness of respiratory membrane. Question number 82. The posterior lobes of pituitary gland secretes. Neurohypopysis, it is service called as post nervosa, also known as posterior pituitary stores and release two hormones called as oxytocin and vasopressin which are actually synthesized by the hypothalamus and are transported axonally to the neurohypophysis. Oxytocin acts on the smooth muscles of our body. Contraction. In females it stimulates a vigorous contraction of uterus at the time of childbirth and milk ejection from the mammary gland. Vasopressin acts mainly at the kidney and stimulates reabsorption of water and electrolytes by distal tubules and thereby reduces loss of water through urine. Hence, it is also called as antidiuretic hormone or ADH. An impairment affecting synthesis or release of ADH results in diminishing ability of kidney to conserve water leading to water loss and dehydration. This condition is known as diabetes insipidus. So the answer is option D, ADH and oxytocin. Question number 83. During contraction of skeletal muscles, the change in the tension in the skeletal muscle is called as muscle contraction. The muscle contraction is achieved by the sliding action of myosin filaments. During muscle contraction, two Z lines come close. The light band that is high band shortens and the length of dark band that is A band remains the same. H zone or Henson's zone is an area in the middle of the dark band where the actin filament does not overlap myosin filament in a relaxed muscle fiber during contraction. The actin filament completes overlap the myosin filament and thus there is no H zone. So the answer is option C. High band shortens during a, during contraction of score. Which one of the following is not an autoimmune disease? Autoimmune disease are the certain unrelated disorders caused by inflammation and destruction of tissues by the body's own immune response. These disorders include acquired hemolytic anemia. Pernicious anemia, rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis, glomerular nephritis, systemic lupus, erythromatosis, Jorgren syndrome, and several. Sleeping sickness is one of the diseases given. African trypnosomiasis is also known as African sleeping sickness or simply sleeping sickness. is an insect borne parasitic infection of human and other animals. It is caused by the species Trypnosoma brucei or Trypnosoma gambiens. So from the given four diseases, sleeping sickness is not an autoimmune disease. Question number 85. Which one of the following statement about dialysis is incorrect? Statement 1. Blood drained from a convenient artery is pumped into the dialysing unit after adding an anticoagulant like heparin. This is a correct statement. B. The dialysing unit contains a coiled 
cellophane tube surrounded by the dialysing fluid that also correct statement statement 3 that is C the cleared blood is pumped back to the body through a vein after adding anti heparin to it that statement also correct statement D the dialysing fluid have the exactly same compositions as that of plasma so that is the incorrect statement about dialysis so the answer is option D question number 87 which of the following steps during glycolysis is associated with utilization of ATP? Glycolysis is the process of breakdown of glucose to extract energy is utilized. At the same time, during the conversion of fructose 6-phosphate into fructose 1,6-biphosphate, also ATP is utilized. So, the answer for this question is option D, both A and B. Question number 88. The hormone that can increase the rate of breakdown of glycogen, the volume of blood in the vessels and rate of heartbeat is adrenaline increases the rate of heartbeat and cardiac output so increases blood pressure epinephrine markedly stimulates glycogen breakdown in the muscles and to lesser extent in the liver the liver is more responsive to glucagon a peptide hormone that is secreted by alpha cells of the pancreas when the blood sugar level is low so the answer is option c adrenaline question number 89 measure the column 1 and 2 and choose the correct combination opioids are obtained by the asli as so obtained from the poppy plant generally taken by snorting and injection they are depressants and slow down body functions cannabinoids are obtained from the plant cannabis sativa they are taken by inhalation and oral injection and are known as for their effects on the cardiovascular system of the body Coca alkaloid is obtained from the coca plant. It is usually consumed by snorting. It has a stimulating action on the certain nervous system, producing a sense of euphoria and increased energy. So, the correctly matching option is option A. Question number 90 is the last question. Which one is an incorrectly matched pair? Pycomyces, example, mucor and albuco. Yes, it is correctly matched. Oscomyces, example, penicillin and asparagus. That also correctly matched. Basidiomyces, example, Faxinia and Agaricus. That also correctly matched. Third one is Deuteromyces, example, Islago and Colitotrichum is given. It is wrongly matched. So, the incarcites, example, Trichoderma and Colitotrichum. Here, Islago is one of the examples is given. So, it is incorrectly matched. So, the correct option is D. Thank you very much for listening our videos. Those who are watching our videos, you are requested to like, subscribe and share to your friends. All the best.